back to commerce ladies and gentlemen we are back again with another one see i'm making this whole thing look so easy eh and i don't know if that's why some people are not thumbsing me up and then you cannot leave me a super chat leave me be leaving me super thanks on video i mean some of my viewers do leave me super thanks and i'll be like who told this bro who told this sis to do this how did you get that information that this is gonna help a channel please believe in me super thanks on my videos okay if you can all right because some of the videos end up having issues i end up working and not making a pesos from some <laughs> some of the videos if i show you you will cry for me but i I'm not complaining entirely but if i see super tanks okay it's gonna help me feel i i, I would like it <laughs> and today we are taking a look at kumasi girls senior high school so let's go check these babes out and i will be back let's go education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world it is not just the key to success but it is the movement from darkness to light Educating the girl child is a lifetime investment. Angelina Jolie once said, There is no greater pillar of stability than a strong, free, and educated woman. Unquote. Since 1963, Kumasi Girls Senior High School has been an integral part of Ghana's effort to educate the girl child and adding value to the lives of millions. Located in the Garden City, Kumasi, with over 3,500 students and about 220 dedicated teaching and unteaching staff. Oh, yes, 60 years of educating the girl child, our story, our achievements, our future. Kumasi Girls Senior High School was established. 1960s by Castle Williams. Now it began as a private school at Bomb Susu Sansu and later they moved to a rented apartment at Old Tafo. And now in 1992 we located to Abu where we are now. The first headmistress of the school was Mrs. Beatrice Kankam. Now the school began with 20 students. By now we can boast of about 3,200 students with 222 staff for police. When you're talking about discipline and academic excellence, you cannot leave out Kumasi girls. Our school is a center of excellence for girls' education. And the sole aim is to develop and empower the girls to become academically sound, skill-oriented, morally upright, and socially useful, so that these girls will become self-independent to effect a change wherever they are, be it in the school, in their family life, in a society where they find themselves, or in the world at large. The guidance and counseling office also arrange students about the rules and regulations established by the Ministry of Education. This is the Department of Languages. The department consists of English, French, P, and Literature in English. The academic performance of the school in general has been good. For about four years continuously, the school has recorded seven eggs in each of the WASI exams that we have done. Due to the hard work of teaching and non teaching staff, in terms of discipline, the students are good and the teachers are approachable. Our vision is a center of excellence for girls' education. Our core values are creativity, obedience, responsibility, and excellence in everything. So when you see any or him and you greet the person, they respond with the same fidelis, always faithful. Year 2020, we became the regional vice president for the year 2021. Um, we also are planning on doing a lot of things like uh, mission which we have already qualified for this year's activities. 
So we hope that um, the school will go from time to time when it comes to student-teacher relationships. And we also give career services where they have already in their mind have chosen their career paths but they don't have the information about how to go about it. We give them that orientation too. Some may also have problems in the house where their parents don't know, but they are afraid to communicate to their parents. We have the, the support of our school management to inform our head. Through that, we are able sometimes to invite the parents and we tell them about the problem that the, the student is having and together that we built them up. I came to get involved in Massy Girls uh, management, administration, or whatever support they need because I'm passionate about education itself, particularly educating young women. Education is important because it is also part of the economic factor of any country. I am so fortunate to have this opportunity to become Mercy Girls Senior High School um, Board Chairman. I've been involved the last uh, five years. The teaching staff, the non-teaching, the management, they're all doing well to support our young women. And our young women are also doing well to be teachable and to be disciplined. And above all, those who have left Mercy Girls and working in various organizations or places, these are the people who come back to support the school. They are doing well. I extend my appreciation to them for the good work they're doing. Thank you so much. You can never think of education without thinking of Kumasi girls. If you should come to our home economics department, I bet you the whole Ashanti region, we are number one. Our food and nutrition teachers are experts and examiners, our clothing teachers are experts and examiners. Come to the general science department, we have qualified masters in the languages, visual arts department, all aspects, all aspects. So if you're thinking of any girls training school, think of Kumasi girls and you will never regret. So we entreat parents to bring their work to the school. If they want the future of their work, very bright. I'm in the person of Wensla Bakosia Nyameche Kodia, the main head girl for Kumasi Girls Senior High School. Kumasi Girls Senior High School is one of the best girls schools in Ashanti region. We're good in academics and usually excel in the universities. We have good facilities in the school, fully equipped such as the science lab, ICT lab and the school's library. Girls, find the displacement of an object moving along a straight line with a constant acceleration of 2.0 meters per second. When its velocity changes from 2.0 meters per second to 6.0 meters per second, so the constant acceleration is 2.0 meters per second squared. 8.0 meters. Yes, that's correct. of the nuclear charge, the effective nuclear charge will be higher. I'll give you one out of three. To ask, we want to ask the headmistress of Kuchis, Kumata Girls, uh, measures. Uh, it, seems, it, seems, it seems that your students are fond of you. 
Are you confident you are going to win the Super Zona? We've won already. With God on our side, we are going to win. We've won. We've won. Wow. Are you not afraid of the other schools who are competing? Why are you so confident of winning? This? We are winning. We are taking all the first in the race. So okay, so give, give, um, um, what are you telling the other schools who are, who are, who are competing in this person? What are the courses? What are you telling them? They should just go and sleep because they do. Thank you very much. massive massive but let's talk about how people are willing to give their land such amount of land for a school to be built on and seriously look at how massive the, the college of kumasi girls is anyways and they have a story that I, I kind of love you know them having to move from somewhere to another place and at some point being looked down upon because of their location and all that and then all of a sudden they are out there located in a very big place like i kind of like to hear success stories i like little beginning it motivates me when i hear stories of how oh i started this this when this was not there and then today you are here i love those stories and kumasi girls have that and i love it so but hey you know now nah, you know how they alumni the alumni of the most <laughs> this one's alumni of the most high god guess when they come out out of their way to give back to their alma mater ah let's go check them out and i will be back let's go i am lauren shema miss from home 1978 year group in 2010 i came to take over our mission and our motto is to help develop the school we noted that our health was also a problem. So the old girls have built a sick bay, a clinic, or a hospital, I can say now, for the school. We've provided beds, bed sheets, we supplied polytanks, many of them on campus. Come around, you see many polytanks donated by old girls. I have donated 10,000 Ghana cities towards Kumasi Girls School Project. She's here with us and has a function to attend. Therefore, she wants to ask leave of us. So, honorably, we permitted her leave. We have in our presence also Bishop Emmanuel Autry Jesse. The General Secretary, Apostolic Clergy Net International. At this moment, we have the Regional Minister's Rep. In a person of Ms. Dokas Beidu, Deputy Director for Regional Coordinating Council. Ahima, let's welcome Mrs. Dokas Beidu as she delivers her speech. Thank you, Madam MC. I stand on the existing protocols. A rep of his SSM, Otu Otu Nananom, rep of the Minister of Education, Deputy Director General of Education, the Regional Director of Education, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is my greatest pleasure to join you this afternoon and participate in the 60th anniversary celebration of the Kumasi Girls High School. On such a memorable occasion, it is important to acknowledge all stakeholders in diverse ways have made valuable contributions to the establishment of this prestigious institution. Congratulations to all. I also wish to express my sincere gratitude to the planning committee for successfully organizing this beautiful event. Well done. Our quest for proper educational development of our alma mater. All year groups are encouraged to form year group associations with their own executives, whilst we have the National Executive Council, NEC, as the main executive body. Annual general conferences and meetings will be held yearly 
to familiarize ourselves with the constraints of the school and solicit for funds for projects to support our alma mater. We will seek for the development of high standards in our educational training, discipline, and total well-being of our alma mater, Kujis. Teachers put, uh, do, do a lot of work on us and like more or less help us build our life, teach us, but then they're hardly ever on it. So um, uh, uh, one of the ladies on our platform, Gifte Adaibuaji, was the first person to bring this idea. And we all bought the idea, we just all bought into it and went for it. So um, we're hoping that this was um, set an example for um, other people to emulate because I think it looks like all over the world teachers aren't appreciated that much. It's about time we appreciate our teachers because they invest in us. Okay, thank you so much. Our teachers really invest in us. So what was the worst time when you were in school? What you experienced? To be honest, when I think about Kujis, as we were at the whole old site, it's really hard to think about the worst possible thing. I think if I could say anything, I, the worst part of um, the worst place to go was maybe to the toilet, but I think that can be said about any year. The toilet is never a pleasant place. But apart from that, Kujis was a school without wall, but it was an amazing school. Wow. At the time, we were about 300 to 400 in number, and I knew everybody by name. I could say I knew people personally. So it was so much fun being in Kujis. We were stigmatized just by the virtue of the fact that we were a school without wall, and also um, these mysterious stories about us being close to the cemetery and 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 um, ghosts visiting us at night and all of that which were never true if i read it now i think back and i just love how ridiculous um this is and today to date i still have people saying the, all of those things to me and i'm like no it never happened they were all just you know Sorry. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm Stephanie S and I'm Joyce from Apoku. And what you are Laurita? Flight for a fair. Not the juice What's in Pritzla? AKA Sagashes. I'm Eddie Lee Seven. Hilda in Sudia. Jacqueline from Pong. Vanessa Poku Mensa. Ferrica for Bra. People can give. Like I ask in my previous video, I usually don't know which video I post first, but sometimes I just post the video before another video. Sometimes I film this video the same day, though edit them on different days and all that. So, but I've asked this before: How do you guys raise funds for your alma mater? Is it that you just call Josephine on the phone? Josephine, Mpacho. You just call Christabel, you just call Asantiwa. Is it like that? Or you guys have an account where you put in this money as much as you can? You know what I'm asking? I cannot imagine anyone calling me right now and telling me to bring a thousand cities. I will faint. So I like to know how you do it, okay? So I can learn from that. Me, I go use my alma mater in Nigeria. Take set example. I go use my alma mater take make other people start to follow the footstep. Now let's go back to Kumasi girls and check them out. Oh, this chick. <laughs> they have a lot of they know they sleep for night. They know they sleep for night, I know. Because they have a lot of competition. And so now let's go back to the campus and do random tour and I will be back. Let's go. So, for example, I'm going to Accra to make sure there's a contractor coming here to build more classrooms for you.
Disappoint, they know they disappoint, oh, they know they disappoint. But seriously, as a parent, I think that you should always be concerned about the mental health of your child because it, it seems like these kids are going through a lot. I watched a video of, I don't know if you watched my last video of um, Ghana's secondary, I mean, Ghana's senior technical school and they, they had this competition where the other students from other school Potter's girl and the rest were all doing their Zuna quiz competition and I could see some of the, the students especially the girls praying and crying pray i'm like oh my god if, if i see my child like that well, i would travel down to that school to go and comfort my child so how do you how do you how do you deal with the mental health of your kids because these kids are going through a lot to trust me not in a negative way it's good for them but i kind of feel for them like oh my god i thought they should just be enjoying life but these kids are worried about the other brilliant kids in you know, others this this is their problem they want to be the most brilliant and the other ones too won't won't let them be the brilliant ones alone and they kind of stress that kind of stress them i i asked my niece the other day i called her See these guys now if they come and say you guys should do quiz competition, can you? She said hey, hey. they can't stand her. Say hey. So this bragging spirit is everywhere. <laughs> anyway, so I hope that you did enjoy the Kumasi Girl Senior High video and that I will see you in another one. Ciao.